Austin Reeves closed out his rookie season in style, finishing with a triple-double against the Nuggets. It was a 31-point triple-double on 17 shots. Made seven of them. Perfect from the free throw line to go along with 16 boards, 10 assists. Not too bad. I think we're going to start with uh, what the latest is in terms mm. of social media since it is 2022. Austin Reeves, guys, is looking for a new nickname. Mm. Before I tell you what some of the suggestions are via Twitter, do you guys have one? Yeah? Nope. Have you come up with one? He wants to shed the <laughs> AR-15, the hillbilly Kobe, rightfully so. Yeah, he never liked that one. Uh, I'm good with him wanting to change it. You know, yeah. I, 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 I saw one on the internet that I kind of liked, uh, Barnyard Kobe. It, it's not quite the hillbilly Kobe, just a little bit more of the Midwest. Mm, no, no, no. That's what no, we left off. No, right. We're going to throw uh, that one out there. Here are a couple, yeah, how about these? No. At least you tried that one. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just said no, so I shouldn't rip Trudell you Trudell just trying. said no. Yeah. I don't have yeah. any, but I am glad to change it. <laughs> the Grim yeah. Reaver. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Yeah. Give me another one. <laughs> Stone Cold Reeves Austin. Okay. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, Ali, these are, to me, this a nickname has to come more naturally. Natural. And See? whether it's Billy Mack or Sue that says something during a play or one of his teammates says something coming yeah. out of practice. But, of course, we can workshop it, which I appreciate that you're trying to do. How about Austin 315? Yeah, I'm cool with it. I like that one. I don't love it. A little more Stone Cold Steve Austin reference there. That's it. It's good. It's better than AR-15. Why are we forcing the, the Stone Cold Steve Austin references, you know? Austin. Uh, yeah, a little Well, Austin. I do understand that it's yeah. the same name. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think that if there's anyone on the team who would take two beer cans, it, it would be him? Ooh. In terms of Maybe. the celebration. <laughs> the two beer cans, smack them together and... Are you a wrestling fan, Mally? Yeah. <laughs> I think the control room wanted a little more out of you two. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I, I tried with Barnyard hey, Kobe. It, it, please, it got please. Nice. What do you got? You're, my, you're the most creative one. Not my segment. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. I wish I did too. Um, listen, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with these guys. Though. I just think naturally you got to get it. It just got to kind of flow. and You know what I mean? There wasn't anything last season, Trudell, being at every single game. Yeah, you should have Around Austin one. that you heard. I... I have to say, I was focused more on the basketball. You're over the nicknames. <laughs> Level. Okay, so then oh. <laughs> we'll go there. We'll go there. Because at Durbin Ham's introductory press conference, he shouted out Austin Reese. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How much are you looking forward to the development of Austin under Durbin Ham? We could definitely talk here. So yeah, thank there you. you Sorry go. for ruining the segment up to this point. Uh, that is we'll my fault. We'll leave that. We'll leave that. So Austin, to me, is, uh, is such a good player to have on a roster because he can fill so many different roles which is the exact type of player you need when you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. So do you have to take him off the floor defensively? No. Even when teams were targeting him repeatedly, he can still hold up on that end. And I think he's gotten a lot stronger this offseason. I did see him in Vegas. You know, it wasn't like he all of a sudden had the sinew coming out of his biceps like yeah. LeBron or anything. But <laughs> yeah. I do think that he's a little bit more solid and a little stronger. So I think he'll hold up even better defensively. And then offensively, I think the shot's going to continue to develop and become a little more consistent. So this, to me, is all of a sudden a key piece for the Lakers. Do you think the internet will do what they did with AC Fresh when Caruso got buff that one summer and they just started putting oh, out, like, fake? Amazing. And all of a sudden, like, they were testing him? Caruso... Always buff though, underrated in that. He's aspect. an underrated buff guy. Yeah, so he did. It was the photo like that me. came up, but like the first time you see him, Caruso, he's always been misjudged, maybe because of the hair or whatever it was. But he's always had that kind of jacked body. Yeah. Austin is a little bit more like you know he's he's got the larger shirt, and yeah. you don't necessarily need to see the bicep. <laughs> yeah, but he's. he's I mean, I can stuff. relate to the underrated chisel guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you flex for us, it would be, uh, <laughs> yeah. you get it. Yeah, I, I can see that. I get it. That's why you need so little makeup. Get to face I've seen you put in the work. I'll tell you that. You're Just trying. No results. You're trying. Doing all those burpees. Just no results. All right, well, if you guys have any suggestions for nicknames, send them over to Lakers Porter Mike Trudell. Are you sure we didn't already <laughs> Is this nail be a topic? that part of it? Is this oh, going to okay. be a topic on the podcast? Uh, clearly, we've got some work to do. Like it's we been, got work to do. It's been work. a busy offseason for the Lakers, yeah. but do they have another major move to make? Laker Nation sure hopes so. We'll discuss that in a round of what the numbers is next. We gotta be better. Yeah. Honest, um, 
I learned a lot sitting on the sideline just watching. Um, the game slowed down a lot for me. Um, I got to see things from a different perspective, so I um, definitely took a step um, just with my ability to learn the game. You know, it's interesting. Um, coaching my own kids, young girls, I've, I've often said that, hey, when you're, you know, when you have to miss a tournament, you have to miss a game because of an injury, you can learn a lot about yourself and the game. Did you find that? Yeah, I definitely found that. Um, wasn't expecting to sit out that long, but um, I took advantage of it just to watch, sit back and watch from a different perspective. What are your goals for training camp? My goals for training camp is to, to compete at a high level, um, bring my strengths to the game, bring my uh, strengths to the team, be a leader, and just do, um, do what I can do. Had any conversations with Darvin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I talked to him a bunch while, I, while he was here. Yeah, he seems great. I mean, he's been in the studio, and, and we knew him back our first year of the network. He was he was an assistant on that staff, uh, and it's been a crazy journey for him, too, to, to get to this point. Yeah, I've talked with, uh, with Darvin a lot. Um, me and him ran into each other a bunch of times with me working out and him coming in uh, before uh, the summer league. I also uh, got to work out with him a little bit, so that was great. For those Laker fans that obviously you know remember when you know Miami and the Lakers met in the bubble uh, for the finals, what what do you want to show them? What kind of player you are? Like what 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 should they expect? Uh, they should expect consistency. It's my number one thing. Um, coming in uh, night in night out and bringing uh, being consistent on both ends of the floor. Trude, I want to start with you. Kendrick Nunn seems like kind of the forgotten man uh, a year ago. Uh, he's on the road back. He's motivated. How important is he to this team? I think that, unfortunately, this does happen when somebody misses a season, mm -hmm. and especially if they haven't been with that team the year prior. It, it is forgotten. It is yeah. forgotten, and it's forgotten that he's a pretty good player. And he was playing in the finals against the Lakers and giving them some problems at times coming off the bench. So... Nunn is a better defender, I think, than some people realize. He's not going to you know, lock up the other team's point guard necessarily, but he's, he's a physical defender. He gets through screens pretty well. And offensively, he's a guy that can score at three levels. So he can get to the mid-range. He's got a floater. Uh, he's, uh, he's got little setback jumpers. He can shoot the three. He can get all the way to the rim and finish there. So I do think that he's a very interesting piece. And the important thing, and I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to talk to him, Geeter, yeah. is that he's feeling good. Like, we don't really get to a chance to go over that even at the end of the season. So yeah. that, to me, is very encouraging. He's on the court. Uh, he's playing some – is he playing some pickup? Or did not he? yet. Okay, not yet. So he's not yet. So he's not yet to that phase. The hope is the training camp. He's ready. Okay, is what I think everyone's shooting for. Okay, so yeah. that's that's the big thing, right? So yeah. can he get to that point where he can hit training cramp, or training camp or even a preseason game running, Brez, to the point where you can actually get him on the floor because they missed him last year. No doubt. I mean.